Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be hooking up a landscape rake. We got to get some of this debris cleared off before we can keep tilling and prepping for the driveway. With the 4720 in the shop, we're using the 1025R, a little undersized for the projects that are uh, at hand out here, but hey, it's working. However, I'm spending a lot of time on some pretty rough ground and my back is taking a beating. The suspension on the 1025 isn't terrible, but it's a rocky ride out here, and it's reminded me I've had something I've wanted to try out for a while. They call it the butt burrito. Mm -mm -mm. Now, if you're dealing with some uneven terrain, another good idea is to get some bore wheel spacers. They will help widen your footprint, take away some of that tippiness. If you're going up and down a lot of hills, they can really make a difference. Check out the link down below. Question of the day, leave a comment down below, but what else can we do to improve the ride, the comfort when you're on a tractor, whether it's a 1025 or any other tractor. You know, my big 4720 has an air ride seat. It's a John Deere factory option. There's no air ride option for the 1025. So if you've got other tricks up your sleeve, we're all ears. So if you end up enjoying the video, we'd love to get a thumbs up from you. Hit that subscribe button down below to see more tractor videos. And if you want something for your tractor, looking for a new attachment, check out goodworkstractors.com. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn this tractor around and show you the product that we're talking about. Well, that was easy. So anyway, the product I want to tell you about is not actually a burrito. This isn't edible as far as I know, but came across it and a couple of you guys, at least two or three of you, uh, sent the thread my way and there may be more than one thread out there on Green Tractor Talk. So this is actually a little airbag with a hand pump on it. We have a 500 pound and a 300 pound version. It actually says on here, air shim, inflatable pry bar and leveling tool. So the idea, you know, you flip your seat up and then there's gonna be a gap underneath the suspension down there and somewhere you find a spot and you take this thing and you can of course adjust the pressure, let out some air if you want to. I guess you squeeze this little spot and uh, find that, that sweet spot. You know, it's uh, the cheapest air ride seat. I don't know if it's worth a darn, but we're gonna give it a shot. Okay, so I had the 500 pound one, but I think we're gonna try the 300 pound unit. A little bit smaller, easier to fit in between the gap and then uh, inflate it up. We'll see how it does. We're gonna go ahead and just do a little, a little field test. We're gonna go ahead and get the landscape rake installed, start doing some grading a little bit in the woods and get out here in the driveway, get some of that debris off where we've uh, previously mulched. We're gonna end up tilling this too See if it makes a difference. So the trickiest part is trying to figure out exactly how we're gonna slide it in there because there are springs and uh, wires and other little pieces of steel and whatnot surrounding it from all angles. Okay, okay. That might, that might be the ticket, I don't know. You probably don't want it to drop down too much because I don't think it'll inflate that wide. Well, let's pump it up and just see what happens. Air ride, here we come. Well, okay, let me sit on it and see what happens. So if this makes any improvement, I tell you, for 20 bucks or whatever it was, it's gonna be well worth the money. Well, I guess I can't tell anything right now. I gotta start driving. Let's get this landscape rake hooked up and see what happens. Well, so unfortunately these little guys are not quick hitch compatible, so we gotta take the quick hitch off. Dirt Dog uh, had a customer of theirs that had a very specific need, apparently not a quick hitch need, and so the way they designed just the 60 inch was to not be quick hitch compatible. Ouch, some real thorns right there. Quick hitches are nice. So are parking stands. Be 
awesome. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys to a new part of the property. Haven't really been through the woods at all, and uh, I've taken the mulcher, kind of just blazed a trail to connect one side to the other. It is still very rough, still getting everything into shape. Eventually, I want to be able to have a driveway, uh, maybe if it is semi-rudimentary, but take a vehicle from this side of the property through all the woods and get it to the other side. And I think for that portion, I'm gonna have to rent a dozer, maybe an excavator, maybe both, I don't know. So installing gravel road through the woods is gonna be a totally different ball game than what I'm doing out here in the field. But for now, I'm just trying to get some UTV, ATV quad pass, you know, so we can have some fun going through the woods. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the landscape rake a great size machine here to go through the woods, nice, small, compact in nature. Um, get the debris off that we've mulched up already so it doesn't get clogged on the underside of the quads. And we'll see how this air ride seat does for us. The biggest benefit I've noticed even on the drive, the thousand yards, whatever it was, that we went from point A to point B, is it's not bottoming out on those big bumps. It has more cushion, so not necessarily that it's a, a softer, spongier overall ride, but it's not gonna allow you to bottom out on those springs like a lot of you experience. Chris asked a good question uh, off camera, and I don't know if I know the answer or not. So you can rotate these rakes 180 degrees the other direction, but you can also, with these holes that are here, just offset them and angle them to the side. And these aren't really a snow blade or a dirt blade where it's solid, right? And so anything that you're collecting is gonna naturally slide off. My experience with rakes is that they're gonna kinda of hold whatever's in there. And, and if you have it angled, it's not really gonna to slide too much. Plus it is gonna narrow the overall width when you're angling something. Uh, 60 inches wide, about 52 inches wide is the width of our, our tractor with the spacers on. And so I don't really wanna angle this one too much. I wanna make sure it's fully covered. So if you've got an opinion on that, let us know what you think down below. I feel like I'm not uh, quite aggressive enough, so I'm gonna change the angle of attack here and see if we can collect more. Just wanting to skip over it a little bit. I wanna try to prevent that. Maybe give it a little bit different pitch. We'll help it dig in or scrape along just a little bit more. While not ever having cut paths through the woods and maintained them, I'm open for suggestions on the best things to do. Right now it's pretty rough and so this rake isn't making constant contact because it's still a little uneven. 
Once I get this main debris off, I think I'm gonna actually take a land plane through here and try to level it out even more. Being topsoil, it's probably gonna get rutted up as we drive over it, but uh, nothing the land plane can't come through periodically and clean up. I don't know, what do you guys do on your trails?
right, well, that gives you a little look at a landscape rake, 60 inch landscape rake on a 1025R. Could be a Kubota BX or any of the other subcompact models. 60 inch is just fine in my opinion. Uh, 72 would be, would be okay as well. It's not like you're putting a lot of load on the tractor, but I don't like, especially in the woods and even other areas, um, something sticking out way further than my tractor normally. So it's just enhancing the opportunity to whack something unintentionally. You know, a tree, even vehicles or other attachments, whatever I have hanging around, you get your tractor through that gap and you think, okay, my attachment can make it as well and maybe you forget it's hanging out an extra two foot or something. As far as my experience with the butt burrito, I wouldn't say that there was a discernible overall improvement in ride quality. The one area I noticed an improvement in is bottoming out because normally it'll bottom out and it's like a jarring stop. And that's what really, for me, hurts my back. With this, it's more of just a cushioned, you know, bottom on it and it kind of rebounds a little bit. So it's just, it's softer on the bottom instead of that hard impact. Um, I'm going to leave it in because it's not doing any harm. I'm not going to say it's, it's a game changer by any stretch, but that is noticeable, that difference there. If you are getting close to maxing out the springs, which uh, the springs on here, is it 225 or 250 pounds? It's, it's nothing crazy. And so if your weight is really bouncing around, it's easy to limit those out. So a couple other options to consider, maybe use in conjunction. I know Ken's bolt-on hooks sell some upgraded seat springs that you could look into. I'm sure a lot of you guys have those. If you want to share your experience with those, leave that comment down below. And in the same thread on Green Tractor Talk, I'm going to post a link to that thread down below so you guys can get to it and, and take a look if you want. Um, but there was a discussion on an entire new replacement seat. I think it was an air ride seat. There was a couple different things going on in that, uh, in that thread. But that could be something I'm going to end up doing and trying out on this tractor here. Hey, well, thanks for sticking around. You get a little look at how the progress is coming along at the property. This is gonna be a future gravel driveway before not too long. It's coming soon. And then we have the paths. We have a whole network of trails that we gotta get together in the woods and then get over to the other side of the property. So it's coming along slowly but surely. I hope you join us for more videos. Hit that subscribe button down below. If you did enjoy this one, give me a thumbs up. And if you want something for your tractor, landscape rake, snow pusher, grapple, mower, Whatever you want, we got it. GoodWorksTractors.com. I want to thank you so much for stopping by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.